What's good YouTube? It's Kevin here and today I'm bringing you another sneaker review of the Pharrell BYW Level X Blink? That's what I like to call it. Anyways, let's check out the shoe. Here's a shoe. This is the Pharrell BYW Level X Blink Primarily Black with Pink Highlights shoe. And as always, the review will be structured in two parts. The first part being general details that I love about the shoe, and the second part being sizing information in case if you're interested in picking up the shoe for yourself. So, um, quick disclaimer if you haven't figured out already, I'm in love with the K pop group Blackpink. So, just like what this shoe represents and kind of like as a fan, like what it means to me is just so much more than probably your average person who likes the shoe. <laughs> um, but if you haven't checked out Blackpink, I'll leave some of their stuff in the description box below so you can kind of check out their music. Um, they're great people. Um, the reality TV show is also really fun to follow. But aside from the point, um, here's a shoe and let's talk about the details. So the entire shoe is constructed with a sock like prime knit upper. The entire upper, I would say, is thicker than your typical Yeezy Boost Prime Knit, and it also adds more comfort because it's not as tight and it's a little stretchier. And so I think that adds for a little bit more breathability, and it also adds for the additional comfort that I mentioned earlier. Um, if I were to compare the Prime Knit upper, I'd have to say it's closest to the Adidas Tubular, uh, or Tubular Doom, I'm pretty sure is what this shoe is, but the one with Prime Knit. So, um, those are really, really similar to the Prime Knit on this one, but this one is still a little thicker and a lot more comfortable. It's a lot more elastic, I'd say. Anyways, so as I have mentioned earlier, it has a black undertone with a lot of pink highlights. So Pharrell took a very liberal uh, design of the Adidas 3 Stripe logo here, and then he followed it up with a nice little black and pink weave on the inside portion of the shoe. I think it's super unique, and I think that like, the shoe itself is just so out there and like loud that it's awesome <laughs> in terms of design. Um, embroidered in the center of the shoe is the word ambition and I like really align and speak with the message because I'm a very ambitious dude, I guess. And I don't know, just every component of the upper so far just like vibes with me. It's a really, really good chill feeling. Um, so yeah, since it is a sock-like construction, you literally just slip it on, and it's super comfortable. So, um, let's move on to the bottom of the shoe. So the bottom of the shoe is structured into three parts. The heel part, the connector part, and then the front toe area part, I suppose. So, um, each individual part I'll kind of dive into. So, here you have the front toe part, which I was mentioning earlier. It's zigzagged to give your foot better traction when you're walking. Say you're, like, walking somewhere with, like, you know, not so good of a surface, this should probably help you maintain your footing, I suppose. Anyways, um, here on the bottom, the heel has a similar uh, kind of design detail, except it's more like a heat map. Um, I'm not sure the impact of that, but I think this part is just to protect the boost cushioning that Pharrell used for the shoe. I mean, it's a BYW shoe, so there is boost. Um, the boost is super comfortable. In addition to the Prime Knit, it's just a really, really comfortable shoe. Um, if you haven't tried Boost, you've got to try Boost. It's the most comfortable like cushioning technology in the industry right now. Like, you have to try it. Um, the connector part here is um, lined, and it's like this pink, like light pink or salmon pink color. It's a really nice color, um, mainly just connecting the two parts. I haven't seen any problems with it. I thought my foot would feel weird because there was a connector thing, but it seems to just fit just fine. So that's about it for general details about, I guess, the shoe. Oh, wait, sorry, I missed one. So rope laces are featured with the shoe. They have um, three striped pink tips, and you also get an initial pair of laces um, that come in white. And so that finishes off all the details of the shoe. Um, such a beautiful shoe. Oh my god. You guys got to try this out for yourself. Anyways, in case if you are actually going to try this out for yourself, let's talk sizing. So for sizing, I got a size 8 Adidas on the shoe. I decided this because I went into like a Foot Locker and I tried out like the first iteration of the Boost You Wear shoes and uh, it felt like I was a size 8. 
but I got it and it was a little too big, but it doesn't matter because, I mean, it's a sock, like, it's not gonna slip off easy. So, the overall shoe, I just say, like, give or take 0.5 to your, like, TTS Adidas um, shoe size, but if you were to go for an exact sizing, I would suggest going with your Adidas 3.0 size, or, or Ultra Boost 3.0, my bad. Ultra Boost 3.0 or your Adidas Prime Knit NMD size. Um, both of those seem to work really well and are pretty much identical to my Pharrell Human Race NMD size. So they should fit you just fine for the shoe as well. Um, if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Especially about sizing, because I know sometimes sizing is a struggle, so I want to be at least a resource that you guys can bounce off ideas or kind of give a little more context to get a better suggestion. Um, as always, <laughs> Remember, I am but a human person that is on the internet. Um, end of the day, it's your call, your sizing, but I'm always here to help. Like always, um, thank you very much for supporting my channel. If you haven't liked and subscribed, do it. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm not gonna pressure you to join the fam, actually, but you know, if you enjoy the content, join the fam. And uh, anything else? Well, I'm about to slip these on feet and just show you guys the, uh, the coolest shoe release of the year. So check it out, and I'll see you guys next week in the next video. Bye! <laughs>